Hello everybody, I'm Arham. I work as a software developer for the Unmarshall Parser team. In this video, I'll be going over the process of setting up a parser to track the smart contract of your choice. As a first step to create your Unmarshall Parser, head over to console.unmarshall.io. Create an account if you have not already and log in. Upon logging in, this is what your landing page should look like. On your left hand side, click on the Parser tab to view the Parser Overview dashboard. This demo, we would be creating a parser to track the Marsh ERC20 smart contract deployed on the Ethereum mainnet. On the parser overview dashboard, click on create new. Select the chain in which your smart contract has been deployed. For us, it's the Ethereum mainnet and paste in your smart contract address. Once you have done that, click on next. As you can see, by default, we try to load in the ABI JSON of your smart contract from the Explorer. If you think it is not right, you are free to update the ABI. One possible scenario where you would find the need to update the ABI is if your smart contract is deployed using the proxy pattern. In which case, you would need to paste in the implementation's ABI to correctly track the data. In our case, the ABI looks just right. Once the ABI is verified, click on the next button. On the next section of the form, you are prompted to select the events and functions of your smart contract which you want to track. Note that the data of each event or function selected here is decoded and saved into a table of its own. For our Marsh ERC20 parser, let's track the transfer and approval events along with the ownership transferred function and click on next. Before we start attaching plugins to our parser in this next section, let me first give you some context by giving you an overview of the Marsh ERC20 transfer event. Let's go back to the Marsh contract page on Etherscan and open up a transfer transaction. If you head over to logs, you can see that a transfer event was emitted as part of this transaction. The transfer event comprises of the from address, the to address and the value. From and to addresses are simple to comprehend, but the uint256 value field on itself conveys limited meaning because it has not been decimal adjusted. Also, while performing advanced analytics, you might find the need to have historical price of the token. This is where the token and price plugin helps. Now, let's get back to the form and add the token and price plugin to adjust the value field of the transfer event and record the price of the Marsh token in USD when the transaction occurred. So click on the add token and price plugin, select the transfer event, select the value field and enter the contract address. In our case, the contract address is the same as the one we have created the parser for. So select the contract address from the dropdown and click on next. In the last part of the form, you first have to enter the start block from which you want to start tracking your smart contracts data. In our case, I just want to track the last one month's data from the Marsh contract. Then I'm asked to enter the name for my parser. Let's call it the Marsh ERC20 parser. Then I'm asked to enter the schema name in which I want to create my parser. Let's use one of the suggested names and create our parser. Once your parser has started, you can check its sync status here in the details page along with other metadata entered when creating the parser. You also have an overview dashboard, which is derived from the data for your smart contract over the last 30 days, along with analytics dashboard, which has data, which is derived from your parser, which is currently syncing. If you go back to the parser listing screen, you can see that Metabase is now online. Click on the view details button, head over to the URL, uh, copy the email, copy the password and sign in. Click on browse data, click on your username and you can see that the schema name which you use to create the parser has been added to your data. On clicking the schema, you can see that the data which you had requested for has started appearing. On clicking on transfer events, Apart from the from, to and value columns, you can also find the decimal adjusted value and the token price. This is information derived using the plugin. 
and that's it your parser has now been created and you can now use metabase to access your data and add graphql to do the same